Hey you! Get ready, get on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. Hey you! Get moving, it's not too far, you're looking good, so come as you are. Hey you! You'll never know what you see when you do that door with the 7-3. Never seen nothing, no, not like this place, never been, no, no way, not ever, no, never seen no place, no way, similar, not like 73. Hey you! Get ready, get on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. It's you that we want to see, so get down to 73. Get down to 73, hey you, get down to 73. last night. Well, it sounded quite nice on the menu. Bulla Bulla. It's quail's egg curry. Well, I like eggs. But this one didn't like me. And I wouldn't mind, but I've got to wake everyone Sunday's brunch this morning and... Well, it's liver. <laughs> morning. Isn't it lovely and quiet round here, eh? Sunday morning. Everyone's still upstairs asleep. Yeah, and I thought I'd take full advantage of it and do a spot of work on me comic strip. You see, I figured out that now that I'm an unemployed, if I can work out a comic strip hero, invent one, maybe one of the newspapers or comics will buy it off me, and who knows, I could earn a fortune. Anyway, so far, I've got me comic strip hero. Have a look at that. Chip man. And then, of course, he's got a sidekick, a sort of assistant, fish boy. And at the moment, I'm working on, well, a villain. Because, I mean, let's face it, every superhero's got to have an arch enemy, haven't they? Hi, Neil. Good oh, morning, Kevin. Sleep all right, mate? Yeah, sleep like a bucket. Lovely. <whistles> yeah, I reckon that's it. Have a look at this. Chipman's arch enemy, Gherkin Gus. Oh, morning, Colin, Keith. A couple of mates of Frank Sidebottom stayed with us last night. Sleep Fair. all right, lads? All very that well, thanks. So what do you think? Very good. Very good. 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 Yeah. Superb. Prince Charles. Very Prince Charles. Good. No, very no. good. Who? Oh. Prince Charles. Charles, that is very no, good. No, no, it's not Prince Charles, it's Gherkin Gus. Oh, no, no, Gherkin Gus. Prince Charles, you can tell. Look at him, do you know he is everything, Prince Charles. Oh, just yeah. like him. It does, it does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, just like fine, him. Fine, all right, all right, can't use that, fine. Back to the drawing board. You see, I'm working on an enemy for Chipman now. Uh, got it. How's about Savaloy Sam? Are you artistic, Neil? Uh, yeah, I do do a spot of drawing every now and then. Yeah, of course, you could earn a few bob from that. Do you reckon? Yeah, not that you want to make any money out of it. Oh, of course, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, though. Neil, Neil, put your head up, head up. Oh, yeah. Chin out a bit, chin out, chin, chin out. Chin out. Nose in a bit, nose, nose, nose in a bit. Get those glasses on. Squint those eyes. Get them on. Put the glasses on. Oh, yes! Walt Disney! Look at yeah. that. Walt! Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, and he made quite a few bob, oh, didn't he? Yes. Five, six thousand million. Pounds. Yeah. Oh, well, let's work it out. Snow White, yeah. Bambi, that's two million. Fraggle yeah. Rock. To name but three. Yeah. No, no, hang on a sec. Walt Disney didn't do Fraggle Rock. Oh, though it was a big influence on Very though, big Neil. influence. Yes. Was it? Yeah, you mm. ought to watch it. All right then. Um, <clears throat> lads. Hey, you! What shall we do with Chipman, O oh evil master? Put him in hot boiling fat, O oh ugly one. Yes, Chipman gets battered. <laughs> Shh! Keep it down, will you? They're still asleep upstairs. Neil, what do you think? It stinks. What? Yeah, I'm sorry, lads. Look, if I'm going to invent a comic strip hero, I want people to take it seriously. Get out of it. Yeah, I want it to become a household name. Maybe even one day a movie star, eh? Do you know what? Sometimes I think my creativity goes over people's heads. Mind you, I think you'll appreciate this. Have a look at this. Chipman's arch enemy, Vinegar Joe. Eh? Good, eh? Morning, Chris. Oh, morning, Neil. Sleep well. Like a log. Here, come and have a look at this. Come here. Oh. What do you think of that, eh? Oh, it's marvellous. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. I give up. Oh, I still don't feel very well. I don't know 
little while, let Neil take me to the Ho-Ho Chin. We never have had a good curry there. Still, after a couple of spoonfuls of this medicine, I'll probably be able to face going downstairs and getting the liver ready for brunch. Now, two teaspoonfuls for nausea, biliousness, and dire... Oh, no. Sounds like someone's moving round up there. Probably Kim getting up. Oh, well, one thing's for sure. I'm not going to get any more work done now, am I? May as well have a look at the old Sunday papers. See the football results. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it was the curry I had last night. Mind you, it was lovely. Oh, that was horrible, that curry we had last night. Eh? I don't know why I let you take me to these places. Listen, don't go blaming Ho Ho Chin. I told you not to have the Bulla Bulla. Look, just don't mention it, all right, Neil? Sorry, curried quail's eggs. Thank you, Neil. I'm just going to go and make the Sunday brunch now. Oh, lovely. Can I have some green mushy peas with my liver, please? Oh, hello, Kim. Morning, Kevin. So you're up in the van? Is that brunch? It is brunch. Yes, it is. Liver. Mm. Mushy peas. Mushy peas and liver. Yes, that's right, Kevin. Yes. Right. Uh, listen, I have to say thanks ever so much for clearing, helping clearing up all the rubbish from yesterday. Um, mm. Oh, it's very rubbish. nice. It's very useful, the rubbish. Oh, oh is it? Well, I've noticed, was. but there's just one thing that I, I just think maybe being a bit neat about it. That's my xylophone. I didn't bring all the bits in earlier. Sorry? That's, it's the xylophone. <laughs> it's not a xylophone. <laughs> it's two pieces of old sort of sponge and our old tools from the shed. The xylophone, as you said. Ah, uh ah, -uh, golf ball. That's what we haven't got. Oh, well, of course. That's what you need. That's why I didn't see. What am I going to do with this? Let's start that end and work on the way up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a scale. It's a telephone. You're being serious, aren't you? Yeah. It's lovely. Have you got anything else? There's another beater there. Well, I'll have a go at that one then. What but else have you got? Have you got anything else there? I've got another. That's the thing I came in with. That's another xylophone. It's not a xylophone. That's our old waste pipe and stuff. Well. Have a listen. Have a listen. Okay. That sounds just like my tummy inside. It really does, Kevin. What's that? Matter? You've got all these bottles hanging down. Oh, well, they the make it louder. Different hey? size bottles, different size bits of wood, they all make it louder. Oh, that's extraordinary. Mm. And what's holding the whole thing together then? Uh, string. So, what you're saying is you can make any authentic instrument out of any old bits of rubbish lying oh, yeah. about the place? Any old bits. I've been doing it all day in the yard. Is there some more stuff out there? Mm. You can oh. get us something. Yeah, okay. Oh, sure, great. Some all right, see you in a minute. Yeah. Isn't that an amazing thing, Neil? You spend all that money on your guitars and, and Kevin there, he makes a better sound out of a pile of rubbish. Oh, I've just had to sit down again, Neil. My legs have gone a bit wobbly. This is always the same, isn't it, when you and I go out? It's a disaster. I mean, look what happened when we went to Sid's Scampi Bar. Don't go blaming it on the food. You probably just picked up a virus. A virus? There's loads of bugs going around this time of year. Look, I'll prove it to you. I've got that book, haven't I? Bugs? I haven't got bugs. Angela, I do feel a bit itchy. Oh. Brought you a surprise. I thought that would do you good. <laughs> I suppose you're going to do it as a set of drums, aren't you? No, 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 it's a harp, this one. Oh, it's a harp? It's obviously a harp, isn't it? Well, what have you made that out of? Antifreeze bottle, a bit of... Branch that was out in the yard, all this garden cane. I cut it up, hope you mind. What about the strings? Uh, oh, a uh, fishing line. Well, I mean, some... does it sound like a harp? Mm, well, it's... It does. It's beautiful, Kevin. It's quite soothing, isn't it? You know, here 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 look, here, you Look, I'll prove it to you. It wasn't the curry that upset your stomach last night. Yeah. Right, now you tell me the <laughs> symptoms you've got, and I'll look it up in this family medical advisor. Go on. Okay. Well, I've got a headache. Headache? Yeah. Yeah. Got dicky tummy. Dicky tummy. D, yeah. I keep breaking out in hot sweats. Hot sweats? Got that? Yeah. Oh, and I've got. Have you? Hmm. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, got it. What have I got? Malaria. Oh, I've got malaria. No, that can't be right. Why not? You don't get that in this country. Is it fatal? Um, yeah, it can be fatal, yeah. Oh, I've got malaria. I'll have to put on a cartoon. Hey, you're showing a cartoon a cure for malaria? No, but at least I'll die happy. Well, here it is. Donald Duck in trombone trouble. Oh, but yeah, she started to feel a bit better after that. Isn't it amazing what a good laugh does for you? Huh? <laughs> oh. 
Kim wouldn't know a quality musical instrument if she saw one. Yeah, I'm sure I can get a good sound out of this now. Let's see, what do we know? Um, I know, I know. Mm. No, 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 you've got that about half a tone out, mate. At least an octagon, Neil. What are listen, you talking about? Just listen, look at me. This is how you should be doing it. Like this. <laughs> Always makes me cry, that bit. Oh, Thanks, cool. That's lovely, that. How do you do that, then? A lot of practice. Basically, you have to imagine you are a, a cockatoo. cockatoo. Fine, I'll try it, right. Cockatoo. N no, hang on, it's supposed to be seagulls, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Seagull. Seagull. Good. Right. Where have you been, then? Oh, oh we had to go down to Mr Patel's to buy Colin some socks. Hey! And did you get them? No, they were closed. Look, I fixed it for you now, Neil. You try that. All right. Ready? <whistles> oh, like hey. it. Seagull. Sweaty palms, dizzy spells, loss of taste and smell. What is it? Noisy barbarigmy. Is it? I never heard of that. It smells awful. Does it? Can't you smell it? No. You must be losing your sense of smell as well. Oh, that's it. That's what I've got. What? Noisy ball barigmy. Can I have mine with rice? All right, all right. We'll do it your way. Think seagull, right? After three. One, two, three. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Oh, come on, leave off him. He hasn't been playing very long, has he, Colin? That's what it sounds like. Hey, listen, Kim says she's got noisy bourbon pygmy. Oh. Take no notice of her. She's just suffering from a, a dodgy curry. Actually, come to think of it, Chris, you're looking a bit dodgy yourself. Am I? Come over here a minute. Cock into this bag. <clears throat> oh, I think you'd better sit down, mate. Thank you. Look at that, Colin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Keith? <laughs> Keith? What? Nothing. No, 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 come on, what is it? Have you noticed anything different about me lately? All right, what have you made this time? A fitness sauna, dance aerobics, leisure and snooker centre. What, here? You don't have to have a go on it if you don't want to, Keith. All right, all right, let's have a look then. Honest, you're going to really love this. Now step up onto the metal plate. Right. Don't, don't worry, it's been earthed. Now, put the rubber band around you. And... Ding, 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 She looked a bit stiff. Ding, 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 I like this one. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, it's a wobbly, bouncy, bouncy ball machine. Wobbly, bouncy, bouncy. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. Okay, right, Listen, have a go on this one. What on earth is this? This happens to be a musical aerobics unit. Musical aerobics. Rock, rock, rock. You had it on Shaking Stevens. What's wrong with Shaking Stevens? Well, nothing, it's just far too fast. Anyone new to exercise must have it on Postman Pat. Postman Pat? Yes. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat and his black and white sea. Much more relaxing. Oh, my God, I think my belly button's just popped out. Keith, pull yourself together. You haven't even tried Colin's automatic face massage yet. I don't know if I want to. Of course you do. Put your head in now. Are you sure it's safe? Of course it's safe. Unless there's a power surge. Pardon? Nothing. Keith. 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 You'll never guess what, Keith. Don't tell me. You had it on Shaking Stevens. Now, don't go knocking Shaking Stevens. Why? I've got all his record. Oh, it's chilly out here, isn't it? What have you done to our sink? Oh, I've put some strings on it. I made it into a zither. Oh, a zither it's supposed mm. to be. Can you play a zither? I haven't got a clue how you play a zither. Can you play a sink? Oh, you can't you? Well, it can't be any sink. worse than I play a zither, can it? Shall I have a Nobody go? Nobody can tell you how to do it. So OK. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Hey, you passed the audition. That's lovely. Have I? Yeah. That's 
all right. Hey, hang on a minute. It's our waste. It's the buckets we've been looking for. They are. There's one of yours and one of Neil's, and they're back to back, and I've made it into a drum, I'm afraid. But that doesn't do anything. There's a talking drum. Squeeze it under your arm. Oh, I've got the big one, Slug. Like. Oh, you getting your voice. Brilliant. Can I have a go at the dustbin? I wonder that. I think it's because I think it's a shame that lots of people don't play music. They think they can't because they have very complicated, very expensive instruments, and there's a mystique to it. You yes. put it put off it a lot at school, don't you? It's just like yeah. an exam subject. I mean, it's like this kind of going back to real basic instruments, isn't it? Yeah. It's just into rhythm and sound. That's how I got the idea. Really, I used to listen to that sort of music a lot, so it made me own stuff. What about um, your own, your very own natural instrument, the voice? Have you ever done anything with that? No, I intentionally failed a choir practice. <clears throat> Why intentionally? Um, because uh, I, I didn't really want to be in the choir. It wasn't a, again, it was like taking an exam. It's, it's very too academic. serious. And, mm. yeah. So I sang all the wrong notes when they played them on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, very cheeky. What have you done to our broom? Oh, well, I matched it up with this water bucket. Yeah. And, um, play that tune that Neil was trying to play. Actually, it really, really does resemble a cello. It's a cello. I'll tell you what you could do as well. It's like music while you work, isn't yeah, it? Sweet Riyadh at the same time. <laughs> of course, you know what this means, don't you? It means that everybody somewhere around their house has probably got an old musical instrument lying around. I mean, you think about it. If you go and look in your dad's shed or around the kitchen or something like that, find a load of old bits and pieces, use your imagination that are being strung together and see if you can think of an instrument just for, just for yourself. I mean, that's a pretty good idea, don't you reckon? Mm. Now, a good yes. prize would be put that idea of yours down on a piece of paper, draw it, imagine it, and imagine the sound as well, because this is the good thing about Kevin's. It doesn't just look great, it's got a good sound as well. Draw it on a piece of paper and send it to us here at Sunday 73, P.O. Box 73, Maidstone, Kent, Me 15, 6RS. And an extra special bonus, if we like the one that you've decided, we think it's going to sound great, come down and Kevin will play it for you as well after he's made it. Well, hey, have you ever had one of yours that you really think is your special instrument? What's inspired you? Mm, I like the chair. I like the music. chair? I remember playing oh, it's musical brilliant. chairs. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Can you hear it? You're deeply moved, aren't you? Yeah, well, I like it. It's just it kind of reminds me of last night. Oh. Well, that just about wraps it up. What do you think? Well, actually, I think you two are very talented. Oh, oh no, Chris, no, Chris, no. Chris, no. Chris, Chris, Chris. Do you really think so? Great potential. Oh, well, I mean, it just comes straight off the top of our heads, doesn't we only, it? We only thought that one up this morning. <laughs> only this morning. That's yeah. amazing. You know, I reckon you two would do really great in pantomime. <laughs> do you really think so, Chris? Have you ever played the horse? The trouble with some people is they just don't appreciate real talent when they hear it. Right, the Skyboat song. Oh, you still having a go, Neil? Honestly, you want to come out there and hear Kevin play? He makes those lovely noises. You want to hear some lovely noises? You sit down there and listen to this. All right. Right, the Skyboat song. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, 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 none of that seagull stuff. Just have a listen to it, right? My way. After three. One. Two, three. Oh, here, here, look, even better. Just the lads I'm looking for. Right, lads, the Skyboat song in E. Oh, no, 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 you don't want to bother with any of that rubbish. Chris has just told us that we're really talented. Isn't that true, Chris? Indeed, I did say that you were very talented. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, show me stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, lads, no, no. please. Oh, we can't. All right, all right, no, if, you no. can't, if you can't, the Skyboat song then, eh? Ready? Uh, we'll do it. The dawn of time. Vast quantities of water on the surface of our beloved Earth provided the ideal medium for the development of the first independent living cell, the amoeba. <coughs> Floating around <coughs> in this porridge primordial, <coughs> these cells got together to form <coughs> the first multicellular organism. <coughs> 
the crustaceans. <laughs> These frisky little creatures were protected from wear and tear by the development of an external skeleton. Until Mother Nature, by cute little treats, decided to turn the external skeleton into the internal skeleton of the fish. These graceful, silent creatures. No. Silent creatures. No. Obtain life-giving oxygen no. from the waters by the use of gills. No. But Mother Nature, by another cute little trick, no. decided to turn their swim bladders no. into lungs. No. And thus we no. see the emergence no. of the amphibians and the no. passage no. to land. Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon they got to like it on the land and swapped slimy skin for scales and large teeth. The age of the dinosaur had come. Of these, one was to rule supreme. The king, Tyrannosaurus Rex. These, these ruled the earth for many millennia. died. A new era had begun. Lots of happy, furry, fluffy, warm-blooded little animals. Scuttle, <laughs> scuttle around in the undergrad. <laughs> the mammals had arrived. It wasn't long before they took to the trees and developed a taste for bananas. But before they knew it, they moved back down to the ground again and roamed the plains on two legs. <laughs> Eons passed. An Australopithecus became Homo erectus. <sighs> With the aid of his gargantuan brain, Rye. he soon developed the ability to use simple tools. <sighs> <sighs> it wasn't long before he uttered his first <coughs> simple words. <coughs> 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 Simple words <laughs> soon became complex languages. <laughs> Mother Nature sat back and smiled at her crowning achievement. <laughs> she sat back and smiled at her <laughs> most wonderful achievement. <laughs> Homo sapien. <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Man. <laughs> God, that's better. Can I press the button now, Nancy? <laughs> And that's it. Oh. oh. Yeah. oh nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. See, see now, that's what you call real talent. All oh, right, that's, what, that's real talent, but this is even realer talent, right? The Skyboat song, After Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm starting to feel better. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. You know, if they didn't, weren't hungry. Well, that's it. Just put it back into the pot. I'm doing it now. You can have some when they get up, eh? OK, then. Do you know, I've quite enjoyed this morning. It's quite nice having everyone being able to come down on a Saturday and a Sunday, eh? It's really cosy, isn't What's it? What's going to happen next Saturday? Um, oh, Gary Moore's coming round. Is, oh, that's good for you. You can have a jam with him. Yeah, and I'm going to be announcing the winners of the football tournament. Yeah? And the smallest stadium in the world's coming. Oh, nice. Yeah, lovely. Mm. Never seen no place, no way similar, not like 
73. Hey, you get ready, get on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. It's you that we want to see, so get down to 73. Get down to 73. Hey, you get down to 73.